Welcome back. That's my good girl. I can't begin to tell you just how busy we've been. Because of the other house for sale and maintaining that one until it's sold. You can see Mrs. Foul Play has put her touch on the farm, on the front of the farm here. The modular, there's work to be done. There's work going on there. It's a slow, slow process and we're having some electrical difficulties. First of all, we don't have electricity to it yet, but I've been trying to hammer out where all the circuits go. And when they moved the building to the uh, site, they moved it in halves and then they decided to basically slice the slice the uh, mobile home down the middle along with the wires that connected so it's really difficult to tell which wires go where. Made some gutter repairs and I had to make room for the electricity the electric company i'm going to walk around here and give you an idea you'll understand what i'm talking about here in a second so i had to clear out all of this there were giant stumps right here and you can see in the distance there let's zoom in on it those markers are going to be a new transformer and another pole and we'll have to have a meter put in about right here or so so we can get electricity to the modular the flock is super happy and in fact today is a big day for the little ones as you can see them right here the little ones patrick percy and hope there's miss clementine hi sweetheart she always follows me everywhere so we have percy patrick and hope look at that girl Look at that beautiful chicken. She is just gorgeous. All right, let me put you in with Patrick. Come on. Go with your brother. There you go. It was their first day to kind of run around a little bit on the farm too. It was a big day for them. Percy, Patrick, and Hope. Buffy and Clementine, Mango in his pen, because we don't let him out, because all he does, wants to do is mount the girls. So I took some time today away from modular work, because today I was just kind of over it. I had to mow anyway. Uh, there's a scene for you. I had to mow anyway. These are all the big stumps I had to move out of the way make more room for the electric company for the Ever Evergy and the electric company that's coming out to set the meter so I had to mow today anyway which I have to do basically weekly oh the garden Mrs. Foul Play is working super hard on the garden too and you see we don't have planters or raised beds the soil here, we tilled it, and it's uh, pretty darn good soil, actually. Chris sent uh, samples to uh, some company that uh, evaluates their soil samples. Turned out it was really not lacking too much. A little bit of nitrogen and phosphorus, maybe ammonia. I don't remember the exact details. But I know Mrs. Foul Play has some before-after pictures. She's worked super hard to get the garden going and to keep the chickens out of it. And 
this whole farm is full of stumps. And so Mrs. Foul Play also put her touch on the big stump over here. I was having some fun one day with some extra cement, so I took Rosie's uh, little footprints and <laughs> put it in a little uh, cement keepsake thing. So what I started to say is I took some time out from modular work after mowing and something that we really, really, really wanted to uh, there's the orange beastie, something we really, really wanted to add to the farm. It's been a dream of ours, too, to have a property where we can even do this on our own property. But I'm, I managed to start some trails. And it's, it's a difficult thing to do trails, but it didn't take me as long as I thought. Uh, there were down trees and things. So this is the start of our trail. So follow along with me for just a few minutes. We do have our offer on the other house. It's a cash offer. And not to uh, don't reveal too much, but we don't have to tear down the chicken house. And it would appear that maybe that's something that the folks that are buying the house are interested in, which makes us super happy that we don't have to tear it down which we would gladly do because it's kind of a niche so here's the trail that i put together just today this was completely covered over with down trees and it was basically inaccessible and now we have a path through here we slowly go and then it exits down here to the lovely lovely view of our lagoon. I know it's hardly uh, anything to write home about. Just the start of another trail going that way, which I uh, kind of plan on in the future. So there's our lagoon. We keep we keep it mowed uh, around the fence, so that's why I'll just carry on the trail this way. We have a lot of wooded area on our property. A lot of down trees. But we're super excited that the folks that want to buy our house may be interested in chickens and we don't have to tear the uh, chicken house down. We still have to maintain the other house for now, mow it and weed eating and that sort of thing. We don't have a washer and dryer yet here at the farm, so we're still washing our clothes at the other place. Which is an inconvenience, but we have to go mow and take care of things anyway. So I have, I'm not done with the trails, but I managed to uh, get this much done today. I'm super excited about this too. Even though it's not like Colorado or the Ozarks or anything like that, but to have a place where we can just maybe walk through the woods, listen to the birds. There's a sweet little bird that just went by. Now I'm not done. This is as far as I got today. And then we'll take the trails off that direction and off east to the outer edge of our property. This was completely covered. I just barely found kind of a kind of a little trail, if you will, just to follow to, to clear through the woods and had to snag through some barbed wire, some really old barbed wire too. Let me show you where this barbed wire has been there so long. 
that it's embedded into the tree. Let me get close here. That barbed wire is completely grafted in to the tree. Comes out the other side. It's astounding it's been there that long. So there's the start of our trail system. Super happy about that. So thanks for following along with us. We've been working day and night, night and day. And that's not an exaggeration. We love the farm. Sometimes the work is a drag and we complain. I was really complaining yesterday, actually. About the rehab on the modular. A lot of things go wrong. A lot of problems to solve. A lot of problems to solve. So we love the farm. We love this place. We love what it's going to be one day. We love that we have this property that God's given us. I just love walking through this little section up towards the house where the chickens are. I just really, really, really pleased how that turned out today. I think our grandkids will really like it. When we get the trail system done, they can enjoy the trails and enjoy nature. And take one last look at the flock. By the way, our Gilligan's Island crew, they're really growing up. But we have a problem with uh, little Mr. Uh, Gilligan. Gilligan is that guy right there. Beautiful roosters. Lovey Ginger and Marianne. That's Marianne. It's Ginger. Um, the, red, the redhead is Ginger, obviously, and Lovey is the one just beyond Ginger. Back to the roosters. The smaller rooster is Skipper. The bigger rooster is Gilligan. Gilligan's not long for this world. In fact, we have way too many roos, and we're going to have a serious discussion here in the future about what to do with, uh, with our roosters, because we really have too many of them. Gilligan is a mean little cuss. He is a mean little rooster. Yeah, he's already crow crowing. He's a beautiful boy and we love him, but he's probably not long for this world. He's he's mean. He's a mean rooster. So here's Hey Hey doing his job. What a good boy. He, he mounts the girls time to time. All right. He, that's what we need on the farm is a rooster to look out for predators, to guide the girls, to look out, out for them. And Hey Hey has really done a superb job filling that role for us. And we feel more comfortable with him out knowing we have a good rooster that is willing to potentially protect them. What a good boy. Mr. Hey Hey. Good rooster. Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> so this is Dan with Foul Play. Thanks for watching. We'll give you more detailed updates as time goes on. Sorry it's taking us so long to uh, get back with y'all. But we're okay. We're good. Here's Clem. All right, Clem. Come on, Eddie. Come on up here. Come on, Clem. Come on, Clem. That's my girl. There you go. 
All right, yep, she's in my arms. I got some cuts on my arm from the trees. She's a good girl. Good old Clementine. Good night, folks. We'll see you next time.